Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Developing now, Trump calls for resignation of crooked Dem senator after attack on Trump's doctor. Capitol Hill has been a rumor mill and a tornado all wrapped up on one over the past month because of the nomination and vetting process going on regarding the next Secretary of Veterans Affairs. Congressional and Senate Democrats hated Ronnie Jackson as a nominee and they did everything in their power to discredit him. Now the president is looking for blood in order to get back. On Saturday morning the president called for Senator John Tester's, Montana, resignation. The president did not like the allegations that Tester was hurling against Jackson and he wants him to be held accountable. So he went to none other than Twitter to express his distaste. Jackson was a White House doctor as well as Navy Admiral. He withdrew his nomination this past Thursday. This effectively took him out of the running to become the next Secretary of the Department of Veterans Affairs. The rumors and allegations out there are that Jackson had a shady background regarding prescription drug practices and alcohol use. In addition, Jackson was accused of being an alcoholic, getting drunk, and wrecking the provided government vehicle that he had after a going-away party that the Secret Service threw for him. Fox News reported. Tester, the top Democrat on the Republican-controlled Senate Veteran Affairs Committee, is seeking a third Senate term this year in a state Trump won in 2016 with 56 percent of the vote. On Friday, the White House pushed back again the allegations, saying records, including police reports, show Jackson was in three minor vehicle incidents in government vehicles during the last five years, but none involved the use of alcohol and he was not found to be at fault. In one case, a side-view mirror was clipped by a passing truck, while in another incident an enraged driver in Montgomery County, Maryland, allegedly punched out Jackson's window during a morning drive to Camp David. In addition, the White House medical unit Jackson ran found that he successfully passed regular controlled substance audits, according to the records for the last three years. The reviews did recommend improvements to the medical unit's handling of controlled substances but did not find misconduct. The Associated Press reviewed the documents Friday. They were the result of an internal White House review of allegations raised against Jackson during his brief confirmation process. The White House said the records, covering recent years, disproved the allegations. Tester's office has not specified the time frame during which the alleged misconduct occurred. The senator's spokeswoman Marnie Banks said the office would not comment until it knew more about the White House records. Separately, the Secret Service said it has no evidence to support an allegation that its personnel intervened to prevent Jackson from disturbing former President Barack Obama during a foreign trip in 2015. In a statement dated Thursday, the Secret Service said it had conducted a thorough review of internal documents related to Obama's foreign trips in 2015 and interviewed people who were present. The agency said it has found no information that would indicate the allegation is accurate and no record of any incident involving Jackson. CNN had reported allegations that Jackson drunkenly banged on the hotel room door of a female employee and that Secret Service personnel intervened out of concern that he would wake Obama. Jackson has denied the accusations calling them baseless and anonymous attacks on his character and integrity that are completely false and fabricated. Asked about the situation at a joint press conference with German Chancellor Angela Merkel, Trump called the Jackson situation an absolute disgrace. These were false accusations about a great man, about a man who has a son who's a top student at Annapolis, about a man that's given his life to this country, and to the military, a brave man. He would have been a great leader, Trump complained, noting that he, Obama and former President George W. Bush had all praised the doctor's conduct in the past. Trump said he'd called Jackson earlier Friday and told him that he was an American hero because he'd exposed the system for some horrible things. The Democratic staff on the committee considering Jackson's nomination also claimed Jackson had doled out such a large supply of a prescription opioid that staffers panicked because they thought the drugs were missing. They said their allegations were based on conversations with 23 of Jackson's current and former colleagues at the White House Medical Unit. This latest problem is nothing more than Democratic obstructionism. Democratic officials are so upset because they do not have the majority in Congress, the White House, or the Senate, and thus the only way they can exert any power is by remaining relevant in the media. Those who are hurting the most are the American people who desperately need the secretary position filled. Especially those who are veterans waiting in limbo while the department goes unmanaged. This is a problem dealt with through several agencies. Whether it's NASA or the Postmasters. Positions are going unfilled and the American people are hurting. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.